Are you ready for more? We are just plugging away here, people. You guys are doing a great job. Probably a little bit better than me. I'm a little bit behind on my work. I don't know if you guys are too, but just keep going, keep plugging away. We'll get there. This lesson is on exponential equations and inequalities, solving them. We're going to learn a technique today that you're going to find works in certain situations, but not all situations. And of course, that not all situations means we're going to learn how to do that too. But that's for another day. Today we have three goals in mind. We're going to solve exponential equations. I'm going to show you how to create an exponential equation based upon given points and um, solving exponential inequalities. All right, piece of cake, huh? Let's go. Let's see what we got here. How do we solve an equation like this? 4 to the x plus 35 equals 64 to the x minus 3. Well, here's what we have to do for today. And every one of the problems today will work out this way. We have to have bases that are the same. When I say bases, our two bases here are 4 and 64. Well, they're not the same, so we can't compare them. Remember, how people always talk about comparing apples to oranges. That seems to be the, the term we use all the time about mathematics. You can't add apples to oranges and stuff like that. And it makes sense. There's, there's, there's things to it that apply. And it does here, too. You can't compare a 4 to a 64 because they're not the same. But can we make them the same? And that is the key. If you remember, 4 can be rewritten as 2 squared. Now, why did I choose 2? Well, first of all, it breaks down the 2 squared. But second of all, and I feel like we've done 64 so many times, I'm tired of it. Remember what 64 equals? 2 to the 6th. And if you're not sure, come over here and break it up, and you'll find you get 6 twos. So I don't want to do it anymore because we've done that a lot. And that's good to keep in mind. 64 is 2 to the 6th. All right. That being said, what do we do now? So now I'm going to rewrite this. So instead of 4 to the x plus 35 power, we're going to write 2 squared to the x plus 35 power. Instead of 64, we're going to write 2 to the 6th to the x minus 3 power. Why is this important? What does it do? Well, you might be able to see it already. When you raise a power to a power, what do you do with those two powers? Yeah, you multiply them. So 2 times x, 2 times 35. Now, depending on what x is, it's a big exponent. Can you imagine 2 to the 70th power alone? It's huge. If I had that kind of money, well, I nobody has that kind of money. Okay, multiply the 6 through 6x. And 6 times 3 is minus 18. Now that we have made our bases the same, and that was the key, now we can compare these. Now we're comparing apples to apples. So the next step, nice and simple. If I have bases that are the same, I can set the exponents equal to each other. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a flat-out linear equation. Subtract 2x from both sides. And I'm going to add 18 to both sides. And I'm going to put it up over here. 70 plus 18 is 88. Um, and then 4x, so divide by 4. we get 22. x equals 22. And that's how you do it. So for these problems with solving exponential equations and solving exponential inequalities, that's our goal for today. All right. Let's try this. There's that 64 again. I'm so tired of it. Well, at least it shows up a lot and I know what it is. Now it's in the denominator, though. So it's really 1 over 2 to the 6th. But remember, when you have an exponent in a denominator, the negative flips it. So we can put it on top and flip it and make it a negative. Don't forget that. That's kind of important. All right, 
this old idea right there. Okay. Eight. Well, that's two to what power? You know. It's three. So now I can rewrite this. I'm going to change that one over 64 to two to the negative six. Point five x minus three equals, I'm going to change that eight right there to two to the third. Nine x minus two. All right, again, same base, that's the key. So take the power, multiply it by the power. So negative six times a half is negative three. Negative six times negative three is 18. Distribute that three through also two to the 27 x minus six. Boom, bases are the same. It's kind of funny musically, because don't you hear a lot of booming sounds when the bass is turned up? Boom, boom, boom. Sorry. I think I've been in the house too long. Now that the bases are the same, we can set the exponents equal to each other. All right, solve like a normal. So this is 18 equals 30x minus 6. All right, I'm going to scoot it down just a smidge. Add 6 to both sides. So we get 24 equals 30x. Bring it up here. 24 equals 30x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 30. x equals 24 over 30, which reduces to a wonderful little both divide by uh, 6. So 24 divided by 6 is... 4, 30 divided by 6 is 5. A little 4 fifths right there. What do you think? Hopefully not too bad. Ah, uh, this one's pretty nice. 3 is good. 3 is just 3 to the first power. I know 3 is good because I got a 9. And 9 is what? 3 to the second power. Oh, this one's a piece of cake. All right, rewrite it. Exponents, send them through. Well, it's just a 1, so that stays the same. This is a 2, so they get doubled. 2x plus 56. Bases, same. Exponents can now equal each other. All right, um, I guess we'll subtract x. 2x minus x is x. And then subtract 56. So we get the wonderful and easily negative 4 minus 56 is negative 60. All right. Now these numbers, they're hard to deal with. They're hard to imagine. I'm sorry. Not really hard to deal with. Hard to imagine. Like you take that negative 60 power. I add 28 to it. And I take the 9 to that power. That's a really, really, because it's negative, a really, really tiny number. I mean, it's going to be 32, 9 to the negative 32. Can you imagine doing that number without an exponent? It would be really impossible for us. We don't have enough room on the paper to even write that number. So exponents, and what we're going to be doing later on, but exponents help us deal with very large numbers, okay? And they make them easy for us to, to comprehend and use. All right, here's that 64 again, and a 1 fourth. Well, hopefully that um, you might be reading two in your head. So it's, whoops. Well, what it really is, it's 1 over 2 squared, which means 2 to the negative 2. 64, we know, is 2 to the 6th. Right. All right, so it's 2x plus 2. And 2 to the 6th is going to be x minus 1. We get the same base, so we can multiply that through. Negative 4x minus 4. And 
x minus 6. Our bases are the same. So we can just set those equal to each other. Add 4x. So negative 4 equals 10x minus 6. Add 6 to both sides. What do we end up with? 2 equals 10 to the x. So let's bring that up here. 2 equals 10x. I said 10 to the x. I'm sorry. 10x. Divide by 10. All right. x equals 1 fifth. Or if you want to write it this way, I usually write the x first. But when it equals each other, it really doesn't matter. They mean the same thing. And I don't care which one you put. That's how you solve equations. Make sure the base is the same and go. Now, some of you might have noticed that you can write 64 as 4 to the third. And you can write 1 fourth as 4 to the negative 1. So would that have worked out to be the same answer? Well, I'm telling you that it will. So it just happened to be one of those numbers where we could have used two different bases. So just something to think about. So if some of you guys say, hey, wait a minute, that's 4 to the third. It works as well. I think that's enough for this video. Um, I think you got the basics of that down. I'm going to continue a second part of the video where we're going to be creating exponential equations and then solving inequalities. So until you come back and watch that video, you take it easy.